Keynote and PowerPoint. Keynote key and PowerPoint. Highlight your documents properly when you're presenting. Yes, we still carry the physical manifestation of software. Welcome back to another episode of Tech Mastery. I'm Franz RGB. This is episode three on how to highlight your documents for PowerPoint or Keynote, whether you're using Windows or whether you're using Macintosh or even Linux. The other thing that we're going to be using is LibreOffice Impress. Why am I choosing LibreOffice Impress? I'm choosing this because it is Linux, it's open source, and it's free. iOS because you're a big iPad fan and most of your work is done on an iPad. Now, you'll find many tutorials on the internet highlighting a document by moving a shape over a certain piece of text or color and then just changing the opacity. But essentially to effectively use a highlight on a document, you want to use a multiply blending mode. GIMP photo editor is free, but at this moment in 2021, GIMP is absolutely hostile to users. The user interface is terrible. Now I understand that there is a developer base in 2021 where there are two or three programmers solely working on this project. My hat's off to them and I respect the time and energy they put into it. But you will spend more, you will waste more time on the user interface for GIMP and you'll waste hours when you could have purchased for $40 uh, Affinity Photo or Pixelmator or a trial run of Photoshop and executed your job, completed the project, and moved on to the next thing. Let's get started. Moving along in Windows 10 under PowerPoint, you can do Office 365 or you could utilize Office PowerPoint 2016. Here are the things we're gonna cover. The beauty of the software is you can actually use the draw pull down menu. So usually you'll see I'm adding uh, my bait stamps on the exhibit for a presentation. But under draw, you'll find that there is a highlight tool. I draw uh, a line with the uh, ruler tool. And then with the selection tool, you can find the line, sort of like the vector endpoints or key points. And you can change and modify your line. But as you see, I lay the lines down. They have a pre-formatted multiply blending mode when you're using the draw highlighter. Now, this the object on top is a box that I've made and I've just filled it with a solid yellow and you can see the difference. Moving along to Photoshop and photo editing. Let's say you have an older version of PowerPoint and it will not include the draw functions, highlight functions for multiply. So in Photoshop what you would do is you would take your exhibit and you draw the necessary highlights in it and select yellow and then of course in your layers style panel or your layers palette you'd go from normal you would change the normal to multiply and there you'd have your highlight in Photoshop I'll draw another box with a highlight yellow and just change the opacity and you can see it's not as effective it's much better to use blending modes you will find in many photo editors that are available in the marketplace that they will utilize lighten, darken, uh, screen. You input both of the modified uh, documents, the original and the highlighted document. The highlight you bring to the front and animate a wipe over from left to right and there is your highlight. Here's a retype hack that we're going to employ. In an instance where uh, you don't have a photo editor and you have an old version of PowerPoint and you have hundreds of words in multiple medical documents, you can actually, here's a workaround. If you make white boxes to redact certain portions of text that you need to just simply retype and then highlight beneath it, this will save you time. Otherwise, you would be reduced to retyping the entire document, which you can do, but this is a, that was a time saver. Moving along to Apple Keynote. In Keynote, unlike Windows PowerPoint, Keynote does not have an option to use a draw tool or a marker tool with highlights embedded. So in this instance, you'll find many people do things like they'll draw a box, and then they will just change the opacity, which isn't that effective. 
But here in Mac OS, I have Affinity Pro uh, as an alternative to Photoshop. And it's the same recipe. You would draw boxes in Affinity. You'd select the yellow highlight that you want or orange. You'd change the blending mode to multiply. And then you save the document out as Exhibit 18 HGLT or highlighted or whichever nomenclature you're comfortable with. You import them bro both in, you group them so that they scale at the same size, and you bring the highlighted document to the front and you add an animation swipe from left to right to demonstrate a highlight move. Now in iOS, the procedures are very similar. So what we'll do is in um, Keynote, you'll see that I'm using a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. I'll open up Affinity Pro for the iOS iPad device and I'll do the same thing. I will use multiple layers. I will draw vector boxes over the areas that I want highlighted, make them yellow or orange, change the layer to multiply, and then I will save out this highlighted document as a modified version. I will import both of them back into Keynote for iOS. I will bring the highlighted version to the top. One little caveat though on iOS to be mindful of, iOS Keynote does not allow you to crop images or documents. So when you crop them, you'll have to do so in Photoshop or Affinity Pixelmator or whichever is your favorite photo editor. And once you have them cropped, you import them both into Keynote, you bring the highlight to the front and animate it over from left to right as a swipe. Now, moving on to LibreOffice Impress. Very similar, although it is uh, Ubuntu Linux I'm using. I imported my PowerPoint into LibreOffice and sure enough, it imported it without a problem. And then I decided, oh, by the way, I need to highlight. Well, very similar to Keynote, LibreOffice Impress will not allow you to use a multiply blending mode. If you draw a box, you have to change the opacity. It's not effective. So if you're using Linux, you could use Krita, which is an application very similar to most photo editors that allow you to use blending modes on your layers. So in this instance, very similar to the previous recipes, I import the original exhibit, I draw my necessary boxes on top of this text that I am interested in, change the blending mode to multiply, and save the document out as a modified version. I bring the modified version to the top and animate it in. And there you have it. How to highlight documents in PowerPoint or Keynote, or for that matter, even in Linux. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. To see more material as we release it, click the subscribe button. I'm your host, Franz RGB. We'll catch you on the next one.